Good morning, Monday morning. It's been a while since I vlogged because it's Hanukkah, but today is so outrageous. I just had to bring the camera with me. Heading now to Hoda Sharon to meet Peleus Roni, who's the CEO of the company, and I recently joined them as an advisor. They're a cloud optimization platform. Going to talk to them about strategy, etc. Then heading to Herzliya to DJI, the drone company, to pick up my brand new Mavic Mini. Super pumped about that. Then to Tel Aviv to meet an amazing, amazing person, Noam Inbar, who I've known for, I don't know, a decade. Worked at Oracle previously, and I'm just meeting her to hear about her new gig. After that, Outbrain to hear about something new they're working on. A couple of other phone calls, and then later tonight, heading to Ranana to meet an old friend for dinner. So I'm starting the day. It is now 7.05. I'll be back at 11 p.m. It's going to be a long one. Here we go. early to Hoda Sharon, actually very early, got a lot done in the car before walking in. I'm going to meet Peleus, like I said, one of the latest companies that I joined. Zero clue where the office is, but you know what I love about living in Israel? First of all, lighting. You know what I love about living in Israel? Look at that, Hanukkah. The man has arrived. I love the, I love the mezuzah and the menorah in the office, man. The beauty of living in Israel. I heard there's a lot of good things going on with the company. <laughs> tell me, tell me, who are you? What's your name? Ronnie. Ronnie what? Ronnie Carl. And what, what's your role here? CEO of Pileos. Pileos. What's your background? Two minutes. What did you do in the past? Software engineer at Intel, Intuit, and Sony. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And so what is, in like your super elevator pitch, what is this company? This company do cost optimization for a company in the cloud, okay, in AWS, GCP, Azure, right. and uh, with support of, of the multi-cloud uh, cost optimization. Beautiful. So basically every company spending a crap load of money on their cloud infrastructure, you're optimizing all those costs and saving them 40% of their money. Yes. Beautiful. That's it. Thanks, dude. This is officially the funniest thing that's ever happened to me in like my entire career. I'm not even joking. So we're sitting, we're talking about, you know, go to market. We're talking about working with com some companies. This company, Peleus, that I'm an advisor at, literally hired someone who has been going through my LinkedIn and Facebook for the past three years and putting together a master list of everyone that I'm connected with. Look at this. It has their name. It has what company they work for, what category, what their position is, what country they're in, what year I met them, and their Facebook or LinkedIn link. 300 people. It took this woman how long to do this? 10, ten hours. 10 hours of work. That is insane. <laughs> Holy, that's like, wow. All right, that's the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. All right, now back to work. Super productive meeting with the Peleas guys. Really good guys, a lot of work ahead of us, but very unique solution. Now heading to Herzliya to the DJI store to pick up my Mavic Mini because I'll be traveling a lot lately and they reached out and they are gonna give me a new drone. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So I lost my drone recently, so that was pretty tragic. Made it to Herzliya. I did not do a great job scheduling today because I have to be in Serona in Tel Aviv and 30 minutes from now, and I'm only going to DJI right now in Herzliya. So wish me luck on that. But hopefully they'll have my drone ready for me. The new DJI Mavic Mini. Super pumped to announce a collaboration with DJI. Oh wow, the lighting's bad. Yeah, I'm a big fan of DJI. DJI, I wrote an article about them years ago, calling them the apple of the drone market because they just dominate. There's no one like DJI when it comes to drones. Although there are other companies that are trying to, that are starting to show their face. And the importer of DJI is Benda. Check this out. Joseph, cue the music. This is like my heaven here, DJI store. Man, love it here. Well, the good news is I made it to Serona. The bad news is the meeting started at 11 and it's now 11.15. I made it on time, but parking, freaking parking in Tel Aviv. Holy cow. All right, I'll be there soon. It's all right, just catching up with the dude. But uh, I hate being, I, I literally cannot stand being late. Can't stand it. Also, beautiful day. Beautiful day in Tel Aviv today. What just 
just happened. Okay, finishing up a marathon of meetings here at Biga in Serona, and I just said to Noam that I'm a little bit ashamed because I'm up to episode like 400 and you haven't been on the vlog yet. Not okay, because <laughs> honestly, how long have we been connected? Uh, probably like eight years now. Yeah, so we originally connected when you were at Zeus, right? Yes. What was your role there? Uh, I was the vice president of uh, business development and marketing. Okay, since then, just walk me through your elevator pitch, just so like, people understand the context of the proportions of the rock star I'm sitting next to right now. <laughs> like, what is, who is Noamin Bar? Talk to you, what's your story? Uh, so I started out in marketing about 15 years ago and kind of uh, transitioned into technology pretty randomly. Right. Um, we met when I was at Zoos. Uh, after that, I joined uh, Forder, who's a really awesome startup in the fraud prevention space. I joined them when they were very early stage uh, and led the marketing, business development, strategy. I've had some adventures with them in the U.S., uh, came back to Israel. Then I decided to, uh, to sit, join. Sit down for this, sit down. <laughs> yes. Yes. To join uh, the corporate uh, corporate side. Right. Uh, and I joined Oracle to start their innovation and, uh, and startup activity in Israel. And brought, after me, brought me onto the advisory board? Brought Hillel on to our advisory board. By the um, way, before, sorry to interrupt you, before Zeus. Before Zeus, I was at PayPal. Just so you understand, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to give you some context here. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. yeah leading their uh, biz dev and marketing. Okay. Before that, I was at Orange. I didn't know that. And some other. Yeah, Orange? Same, like the surprise. Cellular company? Yeah. I did not know that. You, you, by the way, you were way too young to have had so much experience. It's a oh, little crazy. Thank you. This was all worth it, just, just, for, <laughs> just that. for that. <laughs> okay, wait, so then after, yeah, continue. I was at Oracle, started out with the, with activity in Israel, and then moved to manage it also regionally, um, and had a, a small team in France and in uh, Singapore. I love Singapore, by the way. Love. Me too. Love Singapore. I like must go back there. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's a great. Place. It's like great it's food. Like such. A, <laughs> well, I don't know about food, it's like kosher, but everything's like super like peaceful there. So chill. Yeah. I don't know. It's clean and like. Never, Very just, clean. Just don't throw gum on the floor. Huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah, go on. And then, uh, wait for this. It's going to be surprising. So after a few years in uh, Oracle, I joined uh, Orbia. When I joined it, uh, it was called uh, Mexichem. So this is a very large global company. Uh, How large? Just so that people understand. Annual revenue of about $7.2 billion. Uh, 22,000 employees worldwide. And we have our Israeli pride. So we, we have 80% stake in uh, Netafim, uh, the forefront of, uh, of agriculture and uh, irrigation and so on. And we have some other companies in you know uh, chemicals and um, infrastructure telecom I just want to say one thing yeah when I started a tech vlog in my life I never imagined that Orbia would be on the vlog twice in three weeks <laughs> I just interviewed Shayek what's his last name Albaranis 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 yes. by the way I, I always joke with him that like Albaranis just sounds like an agriculture person's name <laughs> just sounds like an agriculture Albaranis but anyway so yeah this is the second time I mean you guys Orbia is massive like everywhere it's just unbelievable and again I like I I'm, again a to say like, I, didn't, I wasn't even that familiar with the company but now that I yeah. understand from both from you and from Shai it's like it's truly insane uh, I think Orbia is a super interesting company while it's not like classic high-tech right. it's actually low-tech right. uh, we're going through a massive transformation I I'm the vice president of, of the transformation and I think what's really inspiring for me is our commitment to being a purpose-driven company love it the, the, uh, the, the icon the logo oh yeah the logo uh, yes, do I make I can, your job uh, for you yeah thank you so <laughs> Recently, we've changed our name from uh, Mexican to Orbia. The meaning of Orbia is uh, force for the world, combination of uh, Orb and, and Bia. Love it. Uh, and we've defined our purpose, which is to advance life around the world. And our purpose is actually a lens for everything we do in the company. Even when we look at CapEx investments, we explore it. Does it you know, resonate with advancing life around the world? And one of the things that we've set out for ourselves is to be best in the world and best for the world. And the way that we mark this commitment is through our logo. So our logo is kind of a living logo. It's amazing. Uh, 
thank you very much. It's like literally, I, I, when he told me that, I was like mind blown. Never heard that before. Yeah, it, we're, we're the first large company in the world that has a dynamic logo. Uh, and I think it's something that, uh, you know, it's a very brave thing to do. Um, Love it. To, to be very transparent. So we've t taken six metrics, uh, two from people, two from planet, and two from profit. Love it. And the logo is comprised from these three lines, like spider graph. And every year we're going to update it according to our performance in those six metrics. So awesome. It's such a Even cool Even when concept. it doesn't work, you know, to our advantage, right? Love we're it. committed to being fully transparent uh, about that. It's unbelievable. So your, your title in the company is VP Transformation? That is like the coolest title. I think the only cooler title I've heard is like um, Chief People's Officer. I like that a lot, but VP Transformation, that's awesome. <laughs> the first person that I must introduce you to, I don't know if you know him, you might know him, is Shakar Markovic. You know him? He's, I don't. He's the Chief Digital and, I think, Innovation or Information Officer at El Al. Before that, he was at McKinsey, before that, he was at Ben Kapalim. But his role at El Al is Digital Transformation. Very I just cool. feel like you guys would like be hit it off. You, I mean, two, two very brilliant people in, in the world of transformation, you would definitely hit it I'm off. happy to, to meet him. I'm going to introduce you guys. He's actually like here somewhere, <laughs> somewhere here. Everybody's in Sarona, right? By the way, no joke. I, I apologize that I made you come here, but <laughs> Sarona, like, it's true that I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, listen. Also, we we're gonna be at Mitos and you're a vegetarian, so it's a good thing we got, brought you here. What would you have eaten for lunch? Salad? Yeah, no, so it's a good thing I got you. <laughs> Listen, no, I have, I have one ask, only one ask from you. Well, two asks, because I asked you to be interviewed, but the second ask is, can we not wait another 10 years to meet? Absolutely. Like, what is that? That's not happening again. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan. I learn so much when I sit, sit with you, and honestly, like, whatever, as long as you really, like, Sometimes when I meet with people, I'm like, why, why is this person even looking my direction? You're like a rock star. You've done incredible oh, thank things. You. You've worked with incredible companies at the, the top, top, the pinnacle of the world of technology, and not like in junior positions. You're leading transformation at a $7 billion company. Unbelievable. Here's what I'll say to you, though. If there's ever, ever anything that I can do to help in any way, shape, or form, I assume you, you know that you don't have to hesitate to ask, but I'm going to say it on camera. For the record, if there's ever anything I can do to help you, let me know. I want to say that I am honored and privileged to be interviewed. I'll send that to my mom. In your vlog, and especially to, to be your friend and... It's, we can't wait 10 years though. It's not okay. I'm going, not to I'm going to take you up on that. Done. All right, listen. <laughs> uh, anything I can do to help you, let me know. And I'm, I'm just, it's really, I'm, I, I enjoy, even though we haven't hung out in a long time, I really, you know, you know what Shepping Nachas means? You do? You know Yiddish? Yeah. Shepping Nachas, <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm watching you. I'm like, she's going up, 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 up. It's unbelievable to watch. Just keep doing your thing. And you let me know what I can do to help. Thank right. you so much. Cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Wow, what a day this has been. A couple of more meetings, but not for the camera. And then heading to Rana tonight. But I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow's going to be even crazier. See you then.